Hey what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be setting up a brand new windows emulator for android known as the Zodos emulator now Zodos is basically an all in one linux and windows emulator for android devices it even uses termux termux x11 wine bionic as well as a proper linux operating system in today's video we'll be setting it up we'll be finding out its best settings how well are games playable along with that i'll be telling you guys if it is worth it or not or should you continue using winlator or game hub emulator with that being said if you guys are new here hit that like like button subscribe turn on all notification let's get started all right guys let's get started so right here is the zoda simulator which as mentioned before is a completely open source fully fledged x server emulator with termux and winlator touch controls together aims to run windows and linux games and apps on android with x86 and x64 using glibc as well as bionic wine builds you guys can check out about the project as well basically the developer wanted to focus on customizability inside windows emulators for android the version of zoda simulator that will be using is the version 5.1.0 full which was released two days ago you'll be able to see it has a brand new ui lot of glipsy drivers as well as dxvk drivers bionic wine 10.0 has also been added added android information and much more so let's start setting up this simulator right away when you open it for the first time you'll need to tap on this button afterwards tap here and wait until zoda simulator has been successfully added on your android device in this procedure it will add all the assets which are required to run this windows emulator on android once the setup has been completed you'll need to restart your emulator now, when you open Zoda Simulator for the first time, you will see an UI similar to this where you get the preferences tab that you will need to open. Afterwards, display resolution mode. Make sure to set it to exact. Afterwards, choose it as your preferred display resolution. I will go with 1280 by 720 but if you have a low end Android device, go with 800 by 600. Once that has been done, scroll down. Make sure to enable stretch to fit display and also enable float ball menu. Now, this will basically help you with on screen touch controls and shortcut settings which will be very useful. Once you are done with preferences, you can see the floating window has lot of options for example termux, keyboard, gamepad as well as lock, performance monitoring and settings. Now what we will need to do to start using this simulator is simply tap on the start button. Afterwards if you want to access the Linux environment then we will need to tap on Zodos which will launch the official Zodos emulator on our Android device and here you will be able to see it launch termux x11 but you will need to go back to Zodos and here you guys will be able to see some options you will just need to choose the middle option and there we go as you guys can see our Zodos window emulator has successfully booted on our android device now you'll be able to see lot of stuff which has been already added such as the playstation 1 emulator test d3d for direct 3d test xod settings bionic wine as well as glipsy wine you can also tap on the windows icon and check out all the applications that are available including gpa slash gameboy emulator change the emulator settings as well as app settings even firefox has been pre-added i guess that's amazing you can go to xod settings after a tap on launch anyway and here are the zodos simulator settings such as wine changing the pre-built xbox slash ps1 emulator drivers changing themes as well as changing termux wrapper you can also change glipsy settings as well as bionic settings where you can choose dx wrapper mango herd and much more but what we'll be doing is we'll be simply closing this emulator right now and reopening it because we want to boot our wine based windows emulator inside zodos so we'll tap on the start button afterwards you'll need to select wine bionic if you want to use wine glipsy that is pretty amazing as well it only has major turnip adreno driver as as well as virtual drivers but if you want universal windows emulator for android which works on even mali gpu android devices then go with wine bionic after few seconds you will see this prompt where it will say wine is currently being configured so you'll need to wait until this process is completed once the configuration is completed you will see an pop-up window like this but wait until it closes in this pop-up window you will be able to see the prompts such as adding dx wrappers turnip graphics driver as well as everything else that is necessary to emulate pc games on android and once all the setup has been completed there we go our zodos windows emulator has successfully started the first thing that we can do is tap on the start button and here you will be able to see all the subcategories where you will be able to change your dx wrappers turnip graphics drivers where you'll also get wrapper graphics driver so let's just go ahead and set up wrapper graphics driver because the device which I am using is the Realme GT7 Pro with Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. You can see in this simulator all the DX wrappers are available even the oldest one as well as latest ones which is pretty amazing. You also get other features such as Wine D3D as well as Mono Gecko. But to start off let's see if our graphics work by trying out a 3D test on this Windows emulator. So I will be launching Cube Map, and here you guys can see there is our first error direct 3D error which means there is some issues with graphics driver. And guys I already know the reason why it's because currently the wrapper graphics driver doesn't work properly on the Zodos windows emulator so currently even the test d3d doesn't work which means the graphics are unsupported only on snapdragon 8 elite processor android devices or the newest snapdragon
Snapdragon processor devices. So even if let's say we try to run a game, for example here I have double tapped on Grand Theft Auto 4, these games will unfortunately not launch on devices that have wrapper graphics driver. You'll get errors such as D3D error which means the graphics output is not working. But guys this is only a device specific issue. Behind me is my Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra which has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. In my next video I'll be adding the Zodos emulator on this Android tablet and testing out Windows emulation to see how well does it work in the Zodos emulator gameplay test video. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. This was the part 1 setup of Zodos emulator. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and peace out.